Unique coupons are great if you're looking for ways to control how and when end users are getting your discounts. In the day and age of coupon websites and social media, coupon codes and discounts can be shared like wildfire. Sometimes that's a good thing. But if you're using coupon codes to build an email list or treat your VIP returning customers to a perk, unique coupon codes are definitely the way to go. They allow you to award an individual code that can only be used once. It also makes it easier to track the effectiveness of your campaigns. ManyChat acts as the perfect vehicle to deliver your unique coupon codes with near 100% open rates and click-through rates through the roof. <laughs> a messenger bot can help you fill your funnel all the while converting subscribers to buyers with the use of unique coupon codes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily deliver unique coupon codes with the use of ManyChat Pro and an account with Google Sheets. So let's jump right in so you can start building out your sales empire with these unique coupon codes. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and set up this flow that you see right now. I'm actually going to show you from scratch how to build this coupon code out. It can be a little confusing, but bear with me. So let's go ahead and start in our settings because we want to create some custom fields. So the first custom field that we want is our coupon code. This is actually where we're going to save that user's unique coupon code so we can deliver the unique coupon code to them. And that is a text user field. When you create a user field, you type in what the name is. In this case, it's coupon underscore code. And if it's text number, date, date and time, true or false. We're gonna do text on this one. So that was the first one. The second one is the user coupon ID. This is how we move the user or the coupon code from one unique coupon code to the next so that no one person has the same coupon code. Again, that is a text and these are both user fields. We also wanna build out a bot field and this is what we're gonna increase that number every time someone goes through the flow so that it can reference that in the Google Sheets. Now, if that sounds confusing, bear with me. I'm gonna show you how that works. But basically, it is a number and when we create this, we're gonna call it our coupon underscore ID. You call it whatever you want, that's what I have it as. It's going to be a number and the value of that is one when you're starting because if you don't put a value in, nothing will be pulled. The first person to ever go through this flow will not get a coupon code or when you're testing it, you will not get a coupon code and you'll be all confused. So make sure the value is set to one. All right, so the next step is we actually want to go and make sure our integration for Google Sheets is active. So it's this one right here. You want to connect your Google Sheets account and you're going to want to set up a Google Sheet. Now in your Google Sheet, you have two columns. You have your ID and this is that bot field that's going to be moving back and forth. So the first person who goes through it will be one. The second person who runs through it will be two and so on and so forth. The next column is your coupon code and that's where you put all your unique coupon codes. Okay. So we have our Google Sheet set up. Our integration is ready and our custom fields and bot fields are all set. Let's go over to the bot and actually let's go ahead and create a brand new flow. So we'll start from scratch just for you guys that want to see it from beginning to end. So we're going to call this unique coupon code test and create. All right, so we're here in the flow builder. Our first step is whatever you want it to be, but in this particular case, you can insert this whole flow into whatever, you can ask for their email, but in this particular case, we are going to have them do an action. We want the end user to push a button. And we want to do that because we want to trigger the actions that are going to look up and retrieve our coupon codes. We're just going to tell them to grab the coupon code. So we have our button set up. We have a little message. Obviously, you will want to make this prettier, you know, maybe throw an emoji in there or something. So we're going to click on the get code and we can either go here to perform action or if you're more inclined, you can click on this button here and click on perform action. We're just going to drag and drop this over so they're connected. So our action step is going to connect to Google Sheets. So in our list here, we're going to go down to where it says Google Sheet Actions. If you do not see the Google Sheet Actions, that means that you need to go back into your settings and make sure the integration is turned on. All right, so we're going to click on that. And you have two options. You can insert a row. That's when you're sending data from ManyChat 
over into your Google Sheets or we can get a row. That's when we're taking data from Google Sheets and bringing it into ManyChat. And in this case, we want to get. And you've already created your spreadsheet, which we covered. And you just look up your spreadsheet and which worksheet you're using. I know this is worksheet one because that's what it says right down here. So what are we going to be looking up? We want to look up the ID. We're looking up basically this right here, the ID. So we're going to tell them to look up the ID. And we are going to look up the value, which is the coupon ID. That's actually a bot field. And the difference between a custom user field and a bot field is a custom user field is only for that user, but a bot field is for the entire bot. So as users are going through this, the bot field number will increase, meaning if the bot field number is three, it's going to pull the ID number three and so on. So that's why we want to tie those two together. So we're going to go ahead and select custom bot field for this one. So we are looking up the ID number in our sheet. We are basically saying we're looking for this value so that they match up. So coupon ID number. So then we're going to match our ID number with a custom field and our coupon code from Google Sheets to a custom field. So we have here our ID number is for the user coupon ID. This is just where we're saving what number that person is through the coupon. This is not their coupon code. This is the number in which they stand in that list. This list right here, ID. And then we have our coupon code. Now the coupon code is going to be coupon underscore code. It's a custom field and that's unique for that end user. So we're going to click save. And we have our action all set up here. Now the next step is we're going to do a condition. So let's just wrap this over here and click on condition. And the purpose of the condition is to check that there are coupon codes left. So we are going to say that the custom field user coupon ID, remember that's the unique user ID or coupon ID, not the unique code, but the unique ID for that user, we want that number and it needs to be, it needs to match the bot field because those are the one in the same number. So we select the coupon ID bot field. So we are saying that the user coupon ID is equal to the bot field coupon ID. So once we're in the condition, we know that these two things match. If they do in fact match, what we want to do is one more action and we actually want to increase the bot field. So we're going to go to set custom field. We're going to select the bot field, the coupon ID. It's going to increase by one. Every time someone comes in through this flow, we want to increase that number by one. And the reason we do that is so that it moves it to the next number. So we're pulling a unique coupon code as this number moves up. All right, and then we're going to deliver their coupon code, which is super easy. All we do is click on these little brackets. We're going to go down to the user, the custom user field coupon code, and it saved their unique coupon code, and that's it. They're done. All right. Now, going back to the condition, if these two things don't match up, what that means is they are here. There's nothing in here. There's no code. There's nothing left. So what we'll do at that point is we'll just say, Sorry, there are no more coupon codes left. You can also send them to another place where they can get a coupon code. Maybe go and comment on this post and you'll have another chance to get a coupon code. Or would you like us to let you know when we have more coupon codes? And then you can tag them and notify them when you do. Or you can notify an admin and say, yo, we're out of coupon codes. You know, so you can, you can do all kinds of things. In this case, we're going to keep it simple. So really quick, just running through it again. They click the button in order to trigger the action. The action is going to pull the information out. It's going to check, do we have coupon codes left? If yes, we're going to increase our bot field by one, and then we are going to deliver their coupon code. If no, if these two do not match, that means there's nothing there, nothing left, and we're just going to let them know. So this is what it looks like. Now something else that you might consider adding is you might also do a condition that says 
Is there a value? Do they have a value for their coupon code? If they have a value, then you know, let them know you can't have another code. So you might add something maybe over here, uh, right as they click here before you get to the pool action, you might add a condition that states coupon code has any value, which means they've received a coupon code already. And if it has value, then we're gonna say something to the effect of, sorry, you already have a code. And you can say, do you think this is a mistake? Let us know, et cetera, et cetera. If no, that means there's no value there. We can give them a coupon code, then we just drive them back into that action. So that's a nice fail safe to add as well if you don't want people to take multiple coupon codes.